Welcome to FNL Producer Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jacob Noterman. Before we get started, I'd like to thank this edition's sponsor, Christensen's Biofuels Financial Conference. The event, scheduled for September 27th and 28th in Minneapolis, aims to help those in the ethanol and biodiesel industries make the best use of capital and resources. Attendees will learn how to create a well-managed plan for growth and change that maximizes profitability while ensuring future stability. The conference is produced by Christensen PLLP and organized by BBI International. Visit BiofuelsFinancialConference.com for more information. Glacial Lakes Energy is celebrating 15 years of operations at its 100 million gallon per year ethanol plant in Watertown, South Dakota. The company originally formed in May 2001 and began production at the Watertown plant in August 2002. The facility originally had a nameplate capacity of 40 million gallons per year, but expanded in 2007. Glacial Lakes Energy also operates a second 100 million gallon per year plant in Mina, South Dakota. Together, the plants can produce more than 240 million gallons of ethanol annually. The company also recently celebrated the opening of a unit train shipping facility at its Watertown facility. Bob Deneen, president and CEO of the Renewable Fuels Association, has spoken out to congratulate Glacial Lakes Energy on its 15-year anniversary, calling the plant a leader within the U.S. ethanol industry and the RFA. In mid-July, Energy Secretary Rick Perry announced funding to establish four Department of Energy Bioenergy Research Centers. The centers aim to provide scientific breakthroughs enabling a new generation of sustainable, cost-effective bioproducts and bioenergy. Initial funding for the four centers will total $40 million for fiscal year 2018, with plans for five years of funding. The four centers include the Great Lakes Bioenergy Research Center, led by the University of Wisconsin-Madison in partnership with Michigan State University, the Center for Bioenergy Innovation, led by DOE's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, the Joint Bioenergy Institute, led by DOE's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, and the Center for Advanced Bioenergy and Bioproducts Innovation, led by the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. In Washington, D.C., Congressman Bill Pascrell recently introduced legislation that aims to establish a production tax credit for renewable chemicals made from biomass. The bill, known as the Renewable Chemicals Act of 2017, or H.R. 3149, would establish a PTC of 15 cents per pound of bio-based content. To be eligible, the renewable chemicals would need to be made in the U.S. and have a bio-based content of at least 95 percent. Renewable chemicals sold or used for the production of any feed, food, or fuel products would not be eligible. The legislation would also allow the taxpayer to claim an investment tax credit in lieu of the PTC. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the ethanol industry's top stories.